Hello, I'm sitting here in the garden of the Reithalle, where the Swiss cavalry was, host, was hosted in the 18th century. As a matter of fact, in the 19th century, right after World War I, the Zurich um, government had to flee into the Reithalle because there was a general strike in Switzerland. This is, these times are over, but you know, cavalry and military is still important, but not anymore on horses, much rather in the airs, in the air, in the, in the skies. And that's what I'm buying today, a company in aerospace and defense. I found it on the FTSE 100 top 10 list. You know, FTSE is the big UK index. Royal Mail is a company I've already looked at and was not that impressed. Sage is too complicated with application software. Anglo-American is too much in mining, something that I'm not interested in right now. But Maggit, that was the first company that interests me, has fantastic growth, fantastic value, and a good combined ranking. This is what I'm looking on in more detail. And what I see is that in the last two years, 15 and 16, the ranks were much worse. Now, better ranks can also happen when the company got a lot cheaper, which means when the stock price collapsed. This is something I wanted to check. Do I buy now just a company that deteriorated in stock price? I looked over the last five years and I found, no, over the last five years, it actually has increased in value. Just in 2014 and 15, it was much higher, but in 16, it wasn't that high. So that means our good valuation is the result of a good profit of the company, of good prospects of the company. Very good. I go into more detail. I Google the stock and what I found is a Morningstar rating that says uh, uh, Maggit is undervalued. Fantastic reason because Morningstar is a really reliable research provider. This is really good news. So I'm going to look what the company actually does. And what I see is aerospace and defense, the both things that are already on the top 10 list, it confirmed you know, my subjection, my, my expectation. And I'm going into the details. I look what they actually do. And when I look at markets here, the civil area is 50% of their business and the military area is 35% with energy, the remainder of about 10%. This is actually a good mix. That's what I'm buying today. Make it and I wish you good luck with your own decision. Bye-bye.